Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. So as you can tell from the title in today's video, we are going to be doing this New Year's Eve inspired makeup look. I feel like it's super sexy, super sultry. I'm just here for it. I don't know. I feel like when I, whenever I have on a red lip, I just feel so sexy and just... Mm. So we're gonna go ahead and do this look. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at I am Shelly. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so we are going to start with concealer. I'm using the Lancome Tint Ido Concealer in the shade 435 Suede W. Just so you know, a little definitely goes a long way with this concealer, so I just used like a dime size amount and as you can see it blends out perfectly and it's super full coverage and then I went on top of that with Beauty Blender Concealer in the shade Tan Suede. Now this one is also really thick and super full coverage so I didn't really need as much as I used but as you guys know I like to go overboard with it so I'm just using this to highlight all of the high points of my face and then I'm going in with NARS concealer in the shade Amand and just using that to sort of tone down the brightness a little bit um, of the two previous concealers and then I'm just blending it out with my favorite sponge that I've been raving about in my previous videos Now I am going to contour my face and I heard you guys loud and clear from my previous video how you did not like the way that I contoured so I'm going in with the more lighter tone for my contour. Um, I'm using the Juvia's Place uh, foundation stick in the shade Nam Namibia. Namibia? Yes, Namibia. And then for foundation I'm using Lancome Tintido foundation in the shade 500 suede W and I'm just going to blend all of these shades together to create my actual skin tone since there's not really any foundation in the world that matches my skin tone to perfection so I'm just doing that and then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose I'm not really big on contouring my nose, I don't really know how to do it properly, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and practice what I've been doing <laughs> as of late. And I like it, it's a very soft contour. Um, and then for setting powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Honey. I really like this, it's not super drying and I find that it creates a nice smooth finish in the high points of my face or the areas that I highlight so um, that's why I like using that one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lids for eyeshadow. I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 14 and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out as best I can I guess. <laughs> It's pretty sloppy, but you guys get the get, you, you get the gist. Um, and then for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go into the KKW Beauty Pressed Powder Palette. This is actually the eyeshadow palette that she released on her birthday. I really like the tones that are in this palette. They're more cool tone, um, so that's why I gravitated to this palette. I typically use warm tone shadows, but figured you can't it can't hurt to have a cool tone palette in the stash and then I'm gonna go into the other KKW Beauty palette that I like using it's the classic 2 palette just to get that warm brown shade um, to go into my crease to kind of I don't know warm it up a bit I feel like it was a little too ashy um, then I'm gonna go into this really pretty bronzy color and just place that on my lid. It's so pretty, as you can see, I was like shocked. But it was super pigmented and I'm just using that all over my lid and sort of bringing that up into the crease color or the transition shade. 
and then I'm gonna go into this really really pretty champagne color and sort of place that in the front part or the first half of my eye and blend that into the um, lid shade or the original lid shade then I went into this chocolate brown color and just placed that on the outer part of my eye and sort of faded it into the other shades now as you guys can see this isn't a super dramatic eyeshadow look but that's because the lip color is more bold so I just wanted to keep that eyeshadow very simple and basic um, and then now I'm just going in with a little bit of liner I'm using this liner from wet and wild it's just a super black eyeliner um, I feel like this just is a good liner to use when you are looking to smudge out um, the liner because it is super black but it also is creamy um, and then I just went into the Jaclyn Hill by, by Morphe palette um, this is the dark magic palette and I just went on top of the liner to sort of smoke it out a bit and give like that I don't know <laughs> smoked out liner look and then for bronzer I'm going in with the NARS bronzer in the shade casino and just lightly bronzing my face to give more of a um, subtle look as opposed to the super harsh contour look So now for under eye shadow I'm just going back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and using the black the super black eyeshadow and smoking that out along the bottom part of my eye and then I'm gonna go back in with the wet and wild liner and fill in my under eye area then I went back into the KKW Beauty Classic 2 palette and went into that sort of it's sort of like a burnt orange but a brown shade and I just use that to smudge out the black under my eye so it doesn't look super harsh so I'm just blending the two shades together and I really really was loving how this look was coming out so now filled in my brows and we're gonna go in with mascara I'm just using the NARS mascara Uh, mascara mascara in what is this orgasm wait no this is climax mascara and I've used this mascara before you guys already know so for lashes as I told you guys in my last makeup tutorial I am in the process of relaunching my lash company so I'm just testing out different lashes I did cut these um, the style is super full and fluttery um, so I did have to cut it because I don't like when they are super big at the head of my eye I guess <laughs> so um, for blush I'm going in with format blush by Mac this is an OG I've been using this for years it's actually my favorite blush of all time and I'm just placing that in the areas that I bronzed to create that nice sultry look um, and then for highlighter as you guys know I love using the Juvia's Place Nefertiti highlighter and this was just perfect with this look it tied in with the different golds that I used on my eyes and then I'm also going to take um, this highlighter and place it in my inner corner so you'll see that in a second I'm moving ahead of ahead of myself here Okay, and now for lips, I am going to use the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored, and this is just a super bright red 
liquid lipstick and the thing that I really like about this is that it's actually moisturizing or it's not super drying like a lot of matte lips um, or lipsticks and I'm pairing that with ColourPop BFF4 liner as you guys already know I use this liner all the time it's just a super dark brown and dark browns go perfect with super red uh, lip colors so yeah, I just feel like it tied it all in together. I sprayed Morphe Setting Mist on my face and we're all done. All right, you guys, this completes the final look. I'm not a dark under eye type of girl, but I'm, I don't know, for some reason, I'm really here for this. I feel like it's giving very much president's wife or mistress. But <laughs> I absolutely love the way that this look turned out. Um, I went ahead and paired it with my door knocker earrings. They're gold and I just have on this dress from Pretty Little Thing. I will go ahead and insert a picture here for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I went ahead and topped it off with the Gucci Guilty. I feel like this scent is just, it's actually like my signature scent, but I feel like it's just super sexy and perfect for any occasion. But I feel like when I have on all black and with a red lip and I'm just trying to be sexy, curls, you know, in my hair, I feel like Gucci Guilty just does it for me. Could just be a me thing, I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this New Year's Eve inspired makeup look. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay, y'all. So I just wanted to get back on camera real quick because I didn't, I'm getting ready to take my makeup off, but I wanted to give like a different lip option. The red might be a little bit too much for some people. So I just went ahead and did this lip combo. It's BFF4 liner by ColourPop with KKW Nude 3.5, 3.5 nude gloss. I mean, uh, lipstick with nude three lip gloss i use a lot of kkw today i don't know but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys another lip option i feel like this one is probably the one that i would go for but i wanted to do a red lip just for the sake of doing it i guess anyway like i said hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and i will catch you guys in the next one bye